Okay, at least okay, play ten. I love the Don Hussein. Oh, did we start again? Yes. I I, I forgot oh, to do that intro. Time. Yes. Yeah, no, it's fine. Keep rolling, just keep rolling. We already hey. fucked up. Let's keep rolling. Let's not acknowledge our mistakes. We're taking this chicken like egg. Doing? Yes. Exactly. Alright. I'm gonna and spend a little we're bit done. of time with this. Are you gonna are you gonna do the blue medallion thing? I'm I'm only doing it so yes, yes I am. Alright, I'll let you explain how it works. So basically the blue medallions, uh there are se seven of these uh little things hidden about. And as it said, there are seven in the uh here and eight in the cemetery. You basically shoot them and you'll get a weapon. I'm so sorry for oh, the things. You should be. You will give me an egg! Wait, it wasn't that game? Mm. No, that, that was five. Uh, okay, okay, I have to explain that now. So, Proton John, when he did Risen Evil 5, he found out that he could play as Wesker. And apparently they have specific voice lines for when you give characters eggs. And Wesker's line is, you will give me an egg. I and that, that became a meme. Not saying it. But the thing is, that became a meme for his entire streaming thing. Like, whenever somebody subscribes to a stream channel, he has a little voice clip of Wesker saying that. Oh, I knew that. I saw Chuck the Oh. Oh. I was actually watching that stream live. Oh, I'm... I... I'm I... so jealous of you. Like, I had no... I had no idea that was gonna happen on You know what was absolutely... Absolutely hilarious for me? I am Part of the reason... Yeah, part of the reason why I was watching that night was because... That was the stream they did before they went to MoboCon that year. No, you know what was really weird? Uh, I think I'm the only one who watches my I remember when he accidentally dropped that uh, Amy, one of, one of his uh, co-hosts on the stream that he's doing that day, was his girlfriend. He, he, like, he completely forgot that he didn't mention it to his audience at all. And then when Tyler killed her off in a video game, he just like went off on Tyler. You killed my girlfriend. And then the chat just exploded. I watched it explode in real time. It was amazing. Holy shit. Yes, yeah, so I know I have terrible aim. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna give you a shit because I hate shooting with controllers. Like I never played shooters with controllers ever. My man. <laughs> So what do you play with? Mouse and keyboard. What do you play with? Like control six. A controller. Oh my God. Yeah, let's see this. It's not my fault that I mainly pay Capcom for their Mega Man games. Fair enough. I still prefer their Battle Network series, which... Yeah, it's, Yeah, which it's you're my gonna favorite. be doing on the channel down the line. Eventually, when I get a capture card, a GameCube, the thing that can play... I own, um, Battle Network 5, um, Double Team DS. Fair enough, but I'm not gonna do the DS version, I'm gonna do the... Yeah. You know, I think it's available on the Wii U Virtual Console, or at least one of they them. They are! I remember seeing them. Oh, I need to get a Wii U, then. Oh, there's your console seller. Or, or better yet, better yet. Emulator? Wait for there to be a Battle Network collection on the Switch. Because I, I feel know. that is the oh, next right. logical step. I feel that is the next logical step. Because it'd, yeah, so but... it'd be so difficult. It'd be so damn easy. They wouldn't have to the change the damn thing. Are much more remembered right. than the. Dude, I, uh, I remember the Battle Network series was popular enough to get five sequels and a TV show. Oh my god, I remember that when 
people in my high school use like the Game Boy Advance emulators. Like that was the one game they would play. Yeah, because it was fucking Pokemon. amazing. Yeah, not even Pokemon, just Battle Network. Because well, Battle yeah. Network was amazing. Battle Network 2 is one of my favorite games on the game. It's probably my favorite Game Boy Advance game, straight up. Oh yeah, Battle Network is great. Who wouldn't want to play it? That's what I'm saying, according to the Switch. I know, it depends on how much money Capcom feels like making today. Yeah, that's the thing. We're very important to PC, so you don't need a capture card. And yet the, no, the I, I, remake I, I, of Battle Network 1 for the Nintendo DS is still only in Japan. Yeah, that's fucking I hate that. I hate that so yeah, yeah. much. Remember Steam 1. Did I ever get that one? So no, as of lie. as of this recording, I am I still have no idea what Dave looks like in real life. That's fair. Oh yeah. So <laughs> we've got So a... right now I'm imagining Dave. Yeah. Soccer and I have met in real life. We got a little hint as to what Chalice looks like. Oh yeah, we did. No idea what Dave looks like. Uh, so I'm imagining like this little dweeby little guy dressed in like Leon Kennedy's in like Leon Kennedy's outfit and it's too big so he's just flailing around in it with a gun uh. once we meet him in real life and he's like six feet no no uh, according to my driver's license I'm five two. Oh wow what the fuck <laughs> you were pretty close just need to get him the aviator jacket. Except my hair's not the uh, sexy blonde. I'm brown. That's, fine. <laughs> my That's, dude, fine. That's adorable, actually. Is it what? How tall is Tall Power? Is he like five four? Okay. Uh, let me do the <laughs> oh, I forgot how great that running scene is. <laughs> but just put fucking running in the 90s on that and it'll be complete. <laughs> uh, I love which one you mean. Like da 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 Running in the 90s. What <laughs> It's just it. Desire. <laughs> I wait, am wait. running in the 90s. Wait a minute. Excuse my slow typing. I am getting used to my uh, Steam controller, which is actually really fucking awesome. I wait. love it. That is that's the first time I've shit. heard that. Oh shit. Like, it, it has an analog joystick for movement, that's all I really need, and I don't want to play shooters any- play shooters with a controller anyways, so the lack of a second analog stick doesn't bother me at all. I don't know, if, honestly I'm still gonna stick with a mouse for shooters. Yeah, everyone is, know, everyone was, should. PlayStation 4 Pro controller feels really good on the hands. I, I'm never gonna switch from mouse for- like that is that is a given. I don't have to use the mouse until the day I die. How tall does uh, how tall is Todd Howard? Uh, he's the size of the Jolly Green Giant. There you go. Uh, 1.84 meters. Okay, translate that into American. Yeah, one second. This is. Get. <laughs> So I saw, an, I saw an infographic the other day that was like, yeah. the three types of American nope. that use uh, the Wait, name. no, he's not, he's not six foot even. What the fuck? I find that highly unlikely. Ah, <sighs> oh, shit, now where? He's shorter just... than, yeah, he's shorter than Kojima, who's 5'8". Wait, Kojima's only 5'8"? Oh! No, 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 no! He's definitely, of course, he 
average height there is. He's actually. I think he's tall for uh, Japanese people. Ooh. No clues here. Yeah, then you're like barely shorter than I am. Yeah, no, I don't fucking believe any of this shit. Everyone here telling me that he's it's six two is a lying asshole. He's 6'2". You're all assholes. Uh, Sorry if I heard something. I think the worst part is when I was googling uh, height converter, one of the articles that came up, I'm sad because I'm short, but thinking <laughs> If I click on this link, will I be Okay, I think they're mixing up of... Todd's. I think we're mixing up the Todd Howard we know with the Todd Howard basketball player. No, but he. No, but he. Actually, no. No, 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 no. They're, they're talking. No, basketball players are like six foot six at least. My sister is tall enough to play basketball. She got the high chains. But. What I don't understand is that he's. Shorter than there's a, there's a picture of him and Kojima standing side by side, and he's shorter than Kojima, who's uh, six eight or five eight. And everyone here is saying that he's six foot two. I don't believe you. You're all <laughs> you're all lying. Well, technically, what, I what am. What if that six hobby. foot two thing is a glitch in Google? Surprised. <laughs> I technically consider myself to be a hobbit. Uh. Because I'm cursed be to be short. I'm five foot ten with linebacker shoulders. I am five foot two. Oh, so you and Dave and Z on an I then? <laughs> and a half. The half is being important. Yeah, no, if it wasn't for, like, my, my hunchback betrays my height a lot of the time. Because people think, it's, oh, it's you're only 5'10", 5'11". Yeah, no, it's and because then I stand my... up straight and then I'm just a six foot even. It's like, fuck you. It's because, because of my tall. shoulders that I have to get sure to size up. Yeah, that's fair. Like, the door. if it wasn't for my shoulders, I'd probably be a 1XL. Yeah, and of, co of course, the way us burgers work, when we get larger shirts, they're not for taller people, they're for fatter people. Yeah. Yeah, like my dad. Like my dad, holy shit. The no, dude's... my dad is a cannibal. Yeah, no, but my dad's like six foot three, six foot four, something like that. And he, he has to get extra large shirts sometimes. And they just look like... Unless he goes to very specific brands, they look goofy on him because they just look too wide for him and they just barely reach his jeans sometimes. Man, it's actually kind of hilarious. I wonder who's trapped in the closet. Is it R. Kelly? Well, here we are in this somewhat town. You and me. A little rough, don't you think? A little rough, don't you think? <sighs> You're oh, cool. not to like spend them. This, this lovely no. hour in this you? terrible town. Where's the Wi-Fi? Where, where can I post on okay. Instagram? It's 2004. One, There's no Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. You got a smoke? What is this black that you speak of? All right, you're perfect. perfect. Where is my weepy? The big cheese. What? Have you guys ever seen the YouTube poop of this? Mm -mm. No. The Resident Evil 4 Deeper Cut Edition? The Deeper Cut Edition? Uh, no. The name of the YouTube no, pooper, his name is Deeper Cut? I don't think I want to. 
anyways. No, oh, trust right? me, you do. But I don't. I get more enjoyment watching people react to YouTube poops that just straight up say the end Feeble animated. humans. Then Let I us do give you watching. our power. By the way, I should show you that video, but it is one of my favorite videos ever. <laughs> Uh, Soon, a black guy watching you will his become combat, unable to resist the, this the title card for the episode. It just has power. the N word plastered right on it, and he just freaks out and says it aloud. <clears throat> it's amazing. Ah, uh, uh, there's a couple N words in Krobo stuff, but he's actually pretty good. Hey, hey, wake up! Yeah, uh, yeah. Have you ever seen Fish Prince Crawl of Blair? Out of one hole and into no. another. How dare you? You want to tell me what's going on here? <laughs> so you Americano, have seen. It. See? No. Now what brings a bloke like you to you this part to. of the world? Oh, hey. You keep easy. saying that. I'm gonna keep Whoever disagreeing. you are. <sighs> Name's Leon. Came here looking for this girl. Seen her? What? Are you supposed to be a cop or something? Nah. You don't look the type. Maybe. Okay, let me guess. She's the president's daughter? Out of all the guesses, you <laughs> guess the president's daughter. Guess. Wanna start explaining? Psychic powers. Oh, that depends. Are you a nah, bad enough I'm dude to save the president's I mean, daughter? I overheard one of the villagers talking something about the president's daughter in the church. Is it terrible that I only know of the game who Bad Dudes from be? Parenthood? Me llamo Luis Serra. I used to be a cop in Madrid. Probably, yes. But now I'm that just a good-for-nothing guy. Old movie who with Steve to Martin be in it. Quite the ladies' man. Why'd you quit? Probably, yes. Oof, All right. See ya. You put your life on the line. Nobody really appreciates you enough for it. Being a hero isn't what it's cracked up to be anymore. I used to be a cop myself. Only for a day, though. I thought I was bad. Somehow I managed to get myself involved with the incident in Raccoon City on my first day in the force. That is the incident with the viral outbreak, right? I think I might have seen a sample of the virus in a lab at the department. Yeah. I am so sorry that I saw that. <laughs> How did you get those two people? After you. Oh, yeah. I don't After know. You. His name is Squall. Now. A little rough, don't you think? Both of them are named Leon. Oh, Lilith, come back. No! That wasn't meant to happen! That was meant to happen to Lewis. It's Leon. Sorry I couldn't get in touch sooner, but I was so slacker uh, and tired. Out. Should watch that You're YouTube okay, right? Fine. There was yeah, a but I'm not gonna watch it right now. Captive. According to him, Ashley's in a church somewhere. Because we're in the middle of a recording. He managed you play to video escape. games in the middle of recording. Do you have I don't want to hear it. Hey, you're a victim of it too, Rabbit. Hey, don't 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 blame the game. I'm not a fucking hypocrite. Back to the village. Uh. When did I not? Yeah, I've done it before, but. I'm not doing it now. This is Dave's first session. I don't want to miss it. I mean, we're missing the audio portion. Hey, of over here, stranger. Well, that's not new. Well, yeah, that's just that's just life. Is that no, a that's just neon cabaret. I will take the right turn. Ne neon cabaret mixed with laziness. Like, the fact that I have it up and running shows that it is possible. The fact that Slacker is literally four mouse clicks away, and it tortures me. <laughs> now my favorite character of all this game, the Merchant. <laughs> Alright, so let's assume well, that I really am. Why are you buying? Got a selection. I'm gonna you gonna gonna buy buy something. Something. Buy something or shoot. But yeah, here's the thing. Even if you help me set it up, then you're gonna complain that all the other guys don't do it as well. 
I mean, I already do that. What are you selling? There's no going to here. I already do that. The fact that I'm the most technically competent and is no that one even strength? bothers to listen to me? <laughs> Thank you. Ah, it's kind of frustrating. I'll buy it in a hot... <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? Sad. Sad. Okay, that's not available yet. Is that all? Just, just buy a stick. <laughs> Thank you. He already has a boomstick. How many more sticks does he need? Yeah. That's the best boomstick. He needs stick. an entire collection of stick. Just, just get stick, okay? Well, when do you get the jar of dirt? <laughs> Wrong game. Wrong franchise. Wait a minute, do I have to... Ah... Uh... Okay. Yes, yes. You already know. Yeah, that's the thing about... Selection of good the things safe on. thing about this game. Buying? That it's more what safe state buying? than it is. What are you selling? Is that all, stranger? So... Is that all? Kaizo game? No, Cameron I don't has what are you buying? Cameron has dibs on Kaizo Mario. Because what are you buying? Like these kinds of games. They're just made to frustrate you to no end. Because us watching Proton Job play was kind of the reason this channel exists in the first place. <laughs> Did you? Plus, did you it, it wasn't Kaizo even up for grabs. He just said, you know what, I'll take it. Did you ever hear I mean, about that's the how it works. Yep. It, it exists. I know it is a thing. I you know. Why isn't a Kaiser Mario game back? Ah! Well, here's the thing. What made, the made weird part is that I had to fight with the No, but it would make sense if, uh, yeah. Yeah, no, I understand that. I understand that, but it was still off. Oh my god, I did not know. Um, thank you. I'll take it. So, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but I'm currently. 110% Dude, I've spoiled projects we might not even be playing for like two years. Ah! At least there's not much of an audience. <laughs> but don't get me wrong, there are games which I'm actually 
holding under my. I'm actually holding close to my hand. Yeah. Other people's projects aren't part of that. Well, here's the thing. You probably have to keep that secret from us as well. That's all I'm gonna say. No, no, don't, don't ever say us. I can keep a secret. Fuck you. <laughs> oh no. Wait, what? You don't get, you don't get like the Yoshi. Of like a space force. Like, 
From, there's a reason why From Software put 15 games in that franchise. It's the only franchise that they are still holding on to. Like, I want you down. Yeah. The fact that Armored Force basically is all this game. the biggest thing in Japan ever, especially with games like uh, Final Fantasy and all, but it, it's a Are you in your briefcase? Not yet. The inventory system was just a bit weird in this game. Oh yeah. Uh, Dungeon Siege did it not better or worse, but differently. No, it, it has the same grid system. It's kind of cool, but it's a lot of Whoa! Okay. Yeah. I forgot to mention, I love the kick in this game. Like, the first time I saw that, I bust out laughing. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what? There is I think actually it's a great uh... kick. It's a great kick. It's amazing. You can't have a good game without cake. Kick. What is not cake? No, that's not the cake. Kick the cake. Uh, Chalice, I think I think this yes, following sentence would only apply to you in this situation, but get your mind out of the gutter. My mind is always in the gutter. It has been in there since 2008. Yes. So no, when you were eight years old? Yep. Since eight years old, I've been screwed in the head. Oh my God, you're. I forgot there I are people. I refuse to there believe were... that there were babies born in 2000. No, you know what's I unbelievable? There were people. Who, there are people who were born in 2000 who are who can legally vote now. That is terrifying. Yes, and I'm going to vote. I don't think I can stomach another vote again. Oh, yeah, like, we'll let's, for well, let's not talk about it on the recording. <laughs> That's fair. I'm gonna vote for either Bernie way. Cyborg Bernie Sanders. Oh my god. You know that guy's actually corrupt as shit, right? Like we found that out. Like, no, no, no. Colonel Cyborg. Oh, Colonel Sanders. It's the child between Bernie Sandals, Bernie and Bernie Colonel. Sandals. <laughs> Bernie you know, Sanders, the, the really chill tan brother of Bernie Sanders. In all seriousness, the best superhero comic of all time is the Colonel Sanders comic book. Look it up. If oh you my know. gosh, I saw that. Actually, speaking of, going back to From Software from earlier, I'm actually really kind of hyped for the re-release of Melwolf Chaos. Everyone is really it's basically good. just the only PC because of that thing. super cheesy voice acting, which I love. That's it's not even that. It's also it has like if you for people who've never played an armor core game before, we can look at that and just some of the armor core art in general, especially the especially armor core Nexus slash Raven. People see a lot of armor core. And it plays pretty similar. To no.
Yeah. That was probably what never going to happen. What day? Five Nights at Freddy's. I think he was. I forgot they were over the sandbags. And plus. Oh, by the way, you're gonna run into another one. Yeah. There you go. Oh! Hey! I got lucky there! Oh, Old man withers! No! Oh! Training to good use, man. <laughs> yeah, Funny enough, we never did uh, train with knives. Leon is just a skin puppet for you to control. Military, were you in? Up, uh, yes. U.S. He was Army. In the armored Corps. You were in Army. Huh? Yeah. Wait, what? Shut up. No. <laughs> Yeah, that was a terrible, terrible pun. Sorry. No, no, no! You're making Radimir mad. You're making him salty. I encourage this. Okay. Oh, Radimir, Radimir, Radimir! You poor, poor, poor child. Yes, I definitely need that. You poor little skin puppet. Oh, you poor, poor bastard. No, he's no. just a skin puppet. I didn't want. I did not want to climb up the ladder. Believe it or not, when we met in real life, I was actually kind of disappointed he wasn't a pink one made of salt. You mean he isn't a crow made of pepper? Hey, what? What? I honestly thought that he was more... Okay, the pepper, I can kind of see where you would get that, but where the hell did you get crow from? No, back the fuck up! What the fuck, pepper? pepper. Five. Because no! He, because he has a fiery temper. What? No, he's salty! You're all dumb. Hey, Welcome to I Neon am... Cabaret! <laughs> Hey, I had a literal children um, professional job as a professional idiot. How well, how well does that pay? It pays yeah. in negative one bitcoins. Gosh, dang it. There we go. Which is probably worth the same amount as one bitcoin. Are you going fishing? Yes, my my version of fishing. It's a good version of fishing. The, wor the worst part is this is actually a more enter this is actually better fishing controls than Big the Cat. <laughs> In fact, this is probably the best fishing controls I've ever seen, honestly. <laughs> Well, wait, wasn't there what? like a Sega Dreamcast game that was all about fishing? Right, yeah. It, it's it's available on Steam. Hey, maybe maybe that play is better than Big the Cat because I think the um, Sega was, British... was trying to make you play buy that game. It was created to sell you a fishing rod accessory. Yeah, that no Dreamcast. one ended up buying. Honestly, I thought that big um, entire gameplay was um, was Sega trying to subconsciously make you. Dude, you shot to buy Jay. Game. I needed his grenade, and to which I shot the wrong shot the wrong guy. The problem with fishing games and any game like that is that they're incredibly niche. Like, 
you, you have to balance good game with small budget because not many people are gonna buy it. It's, I want to go fishing, but I also don't want to go outside. Yeah, no, especially since fishing's the kind of thing you can actually just go and do. Yeah. Especially when you live in Florida with a dad who can just go to McDill Air Force Base and rent a boat. Yeah, same thing with sports games. Like, I want to play basketball, but I also don't want to go outside. I don't want to actually play basketball. Like, if I wanted to play basketball, I'd actually do, go uh... out to, like, a rec center. Yeah. Yeah, this is why I hate you. There we go. It is, it is kind of hard Something to... Something activated. I, I, credit where credit is due. I don't mind the idea of giant, like, large team sports games because you can't... It's not entirely feasible to get uh, 10 people whenever you want to play basketball with you. Like, that I understand. It it does work, but then it, they just keep um, releasing them every oh, single year. I hope the person all, who owns all, this all, house doesn't like, mind no, that the, you're the robbing problem, them. The problem is they that need ESPN it. sold the sole rights to team names and logos to oh, EA. Oh, That's the big problem. That's why we don't have any good sports so games. I don't know. Um, Mario can play sports really good. Well, no, but they're not using any like major teams. I'm saying like games like Backbreaker that had amazing physics and uh, procedurally generated animations for the tackles. Games like that go completely unnoticed because they can't use real teams. You yeah, carry the same EA blood as us. It seems. Slaving the, te the real teams away. You're yeah. an outsider. No, what? No. Just remember. What even are you saying? If you become Look, everyone who buys a eyes, game by EA that's like Madden. Oh, yeah. By the or, way. Um, they are all slaves to EA because they are buying what? the same crap every same single blood. year. Yet they never question why it's the same thing. And with that, uh, I, uh, I just want to say that now. No, go ahead. And with that, the uh, end chapter 1-2. I forgot how long we were going on for that one. Let's find out. Five years. Pretty much. So, Close with, enough. With that said, uh, in the end of the episode here, I've been Deathhead. I've been the American Soccer. I'm Chalice. One more? What? Oh, no. I've been riding there. There we go. We'll see you in the next episode.